This is your diamond insight of the cholera vaccine misconceptions in Zambia. The country is dealing with one of its worst cholera outbreaks in recent years. To date, over 500 people have died and nearly 13,000 cases have been recorded since the outbreak of the pandemic last year. Populated areas of Lusaka with limited or no access to clean water, sanitation services and poor hygiene practices are facing a higher incidence of cholera followed by central and eastern provinces. The outbreak is spreading fast with the country recording an average of about 400 new cases every 24 hours over the past seven days. As the waterborne disease continues to expand rapidly, efforts have been stepped up to hold the spread and saving of lives. A vaccination campaign is currently underway, targeting over 1.5 million people, including children, health workers and people at most high risk of infection in the worst affected areas. Now, in partnership with Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance, UNICEF and others, the World Health Organization has so far supported the Zambian government in effectively rolling out the oral cholera vaccine campaign, as well as bolster ongoing outbreak control measures. As we speak, more than 1.6 million cholera vaccine doses have been delivered to the country to help stem the outbreak which has affected almost all parts of the country. However, what makes sad reading are reports of resistance by certain sections of our community in taking these vaccines and the rejection sadly is high among the men. This is despite a lot of emphasis and constant reminders that those affected the most are male adults, hence the need for them to be protected. And one way to have this protection is by taking the vaccine. We observe the ignorance that goes on that people are citing religious or cultural beliefs, even lies being told on social media that the vaccine is not safe. Authorities have time and again belabored that it is wrong to be swayed by such beliefs that only orthodox or true scientific and efficacy scientific tests can prove the unsafetiness or indeed healthy hazardness of these vaccines. We all know that true religion aims at safeguarding the health of believers and the church must support such a cause. Vaccination is safe and indeed an effective way of protecting one against harmful diseases such as cholera. Let us all unite and kick cholera from our beloved country by encouraging people to take vaccines as they have been scientifically proven to be healthy and safe.